Hey, I am Eva Renee Seven. Welcome to my channel. I will be reading the word from 1 John 5th chapter 14th verse, King James Version. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. I want to thank all of you for returning, those who have returned, and those who, hey, your first time stopping by, welcome. I would like to talk today about one of the new fragrances that they have out and that I have seen some videos of, and I just wanted to give my view on Sweetheart Cherry. This is a fragrance that uh, came out this winter, along with um, some other fragrances. And I think the theme is um, Valentine's. Let's talk about the packaging. How do y'all think about the packaging? Do you think it is juvenile? Do you think it's too youthful? You don't think that it is mature enough for this type of fragrance or just for your taste? I think it is cute. It is more on like the art side. I don't know a whole lot about art, y'all, but I know when I look at something and I like the way it looks, I like it. And I think it is cute. I don't think it's juvenile. I just think it's more of like an art feature, like someone drew it and colored it in. And I'm not talking about with Crayola. And I won't say colored. I will say painted on like someone painted it with like a metallic type of paint. And yeah, I think it is cute with the silver, silver leaves. Yes, I think it's really cute and fun. I do like the fact that they have the itemizer black, that it is not just a silver or gold color, but it is black. And I think it is cute, like a metallic black. And yes, I like it. Give it a little sophistication. And they could have made it pink, but I think the black give it more of a, I'll say like more of a sophisticated look. And the notes are wild cherry, crushed pistachio, whip vanilla and the crushed pistachio i would think by it being crushed it helps to helps the fragrance to perform more because it has opened up the uh, scent of the nut and is just not in the shell shut in where it's not like a i would say to make it like a musty shut in uh, type of nutty fragrance or uh, rancid. I would hope that it is a fresh, crushed pistachio. Um, I will say on my um, initial spray, I purchased this in store and I will show y'all. Look at this $16.95. This is rewards friendly so that is a plus when i went in the store i checked it out um what i got out of it was there's another packaging inside the store that is similar to that one and if you're not careful you just may end up picking up that other fragrance which is what i already have but i was trying to check out sweetheart cherry and that is strawberry pound cake okay y'all now when i did purchase this in store and from my initial sniff in store what i got out of it was the cherry the cherry welcomed me to this fragrance intro and then came along the nutty pistachio note and followed with the vanilla, but it took me a little minute to try to detect the vanilla note. So to me, the 
cherry and the pistachio were the two strongest notes to me that um, I could um, find in this fragrance. And I like it. I was hesitant with getting it because I thought that, well, I don't want a Robitussin fragrance. I can't stand to taste it, yet alone smell it. So I didn't, was, you know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it. But because of the uh, price tag, I was able to get it with my rewards, which I am so happy because out of all of the fragrances they have for this um, starting off the year with um, the winter fragrances, this was the only one that I know of that was rewards friendly. And if you had a reward, you were able to not have to pay for it, but use your rewards that you earned and worked real good and spent good money to receive. Now, y'all know I'm on a low buy to a no buy. And I am so proud of myself that I was able to go in and out of stores with my purse and my money intact. Walked out of Bath and Body Works without some things and I just recently made the purchase of getting this and some two other things that I wanted. I said, well, I'm just going to treat myself to it. It wasn't expensive. So I said, well, let me go ahead and get it because I was waiting for to get it during the semi-annual sale, but I wasn't able to get it. They, To my knowledge, they never marked it down. And uh, so, yeah, so I treated myself to it and I will show you that before I finish my video. But I have some fragrances here i think it is a nice sweet cherry and i can smell the cherry note in here some people think it's the I, that cherry that you put on top of your uh ice cream um uh, but i don't know it just it's sweet it smells good and i like it i was trying to see if i had some different fragrances in my collection that I could add to this to layer with. So here is my uh, setup that I have that I would like to share with you. But first, I want to talk about the lasting power. Well, I sprayed this fragrance on my arm and it lasted for some hours. I didn't, uh, how you say it? Uh, monitor the hours but I know there were some hours that it was on my skin um, as the fragrance dried you know it lightened some but I could still smell it and I asked my husband if he could smell it and you could smell it right yeah. you could still smell it okay and I won't say that it didn't last because there are sometimes our nose can become I'll say blind to the fragrance, but others can smell it. So yes, and I did get someone else to smell it. And like he said, he could smell it. Um, it's not an overpowering fragrance as it dries, but it's there. And I'm glad because I would, what it is y'all, I know some people might say, well, you just want this thing to knock people out. No, but I want to be able to smell the fragrance, if, especially if I paid a hundred and some dollars for a fragrance and that fragrance don't last. I, there's a problem because I don't have money to just buy air and I can't smell anything or I can smell um, my skin, just my natural skin. I, I'm not spending a hundred dollars on a fragrance so I could just smell my natural skin or my body wash. No. So yes. So I will say, um, if you get the lotion, now I don't have the lotion. Um, I do have something that I think I may use instead of buying this lotion. And, um, that will help me keep it longer. And I think it brought out a sweeter fragrance to me 
and let's get into the layering things that I think that may work. One of the first things that I wanted to try was Superberry. And a lot of my fragrances are not Bath and Body Works, y'all. So this is a fragrance that I thought I wanted to try because it is a berry fragrance. And it is by Pink. And I wanted to see how it smelled and what I got out of it. That it blended a berry note. But it is not heavy. And my husband was saying like a lot of them, you know, those that I did use, it was some more, more than this, but that I tried this and uh, it was on the light side, which is good because I'm trying not to get a medicine-y fragrance. I don't know if that is something that I would uh, layer it with, but I wanted to see how it was. The next one that I would like to share with you was Billy Ellish. This is the body mist and I do not have the actual perfume, but I feel like this is a nice strong fragrance. And this is the body mist that I purchased from Walmart. And it's plastic, but it looks metal, doesn't it? This was something that I decided to check out and see how it's, how did I think about the, those two fragrances blending together. And this gave more of a creamy, creamier vanilla fragrance. And yes, I did try to get some of my vanilla fragrances together to see if I thought that they would blend well since vanilla to me seemed to be the less dominant um, fragrance note in here and to bring out more of the vanilla. So that is why I tried this. So it is, I guess you could say it's like a cherry vanilla, but it is more creamier. This is a fragrance that I wanted to try. And I think I'm pronouncing it right, Machino. This is a perfume that I um, purchased 2023 in the summer. And I wanted to see how this would smell. This is a bubble gum, bubble gum fragrance. And I would say this is like a cherry bubble gum fragrance. Like what you get out the bubble gum machine, yeah, that's what this smells like to me. Cherry bubble gum. The next one that I tried was this. Now, I have some fragrances that I did not introduce to y'all that I purchased in 2023. But remember, I got sick and did not. Mm -mm, it didn't work out, y'all. And then my time ran out. So... This is a fragrance that I purchased from TJ Maxx. And this is Red Cherry. Now, I'll tell you some of the notes in here. This is uh, the head notes. Okay, what it is, it's supposed to be like spicy cherry. Then I can smell the nuttiness in here. And the head notes are bitter almond, black cherry. The heart notes are sour cherry, plum, Turkish rose, jasmine, sambac. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. The base notes are cinnamon, benzoin, sandalwood, clove, cedar, patchouli, vetiver, tonk bean vanilla and peru balsam so this is a nice sweet cherry fragrance and i put these two together and yes i think i like this 
I can still smell it on the paper. And I did this last, last night. And I think that this went well with it. Inexpensive. This was $16.99. So if you see it in there and you want something to blend with your cherry, your sweetheart cherry. Something to try, y'all. Something to try. This, and y'all excuse me for chewing because I don't know if it's the new medication that I have that I'm taking or if it's the from me recovering from whatever I had, but my taste buds or something in my mouth. I don't scrape my tongue. I don't brush my tongue. I don't brush my teeth. Y'all, I don't clean as much as I could my water pick and it is there. So please bear with me and excuse me if you see it, but I need something in my mouth. Whew. Okay, y'all. This is Firecracker Pop. This is one of my favorite cherry fragrances that I have in my collection from Bath and Body Works. The notes are red cherry, fresh citrus, juicy berry. It is. Yes, it is. And it has a citrus note in here, but I put these two together and I applied this to my skin. And my husband said he liked it. So I think these two together can make a great fragrance. Um, I do have the body mist, but I don't know if I'm going to blend those two together. Those will add these together, but I probably won't get the lotion so of this or the cream, but I may just keep this because I do have to use this, use this up and yes, put these two together. And the last one I'll say that I had put together is Vanilla Potion. This is a fragrance that is popular. I got it from TJ Maxx for $16.99. And yes, Vanilla Potion, I tried to put these two together. Yes, and I like it. I like it. That Vanilla is performing more. I'm able to smell it more with these two together. And I like it. And this is one that I did not show y'all. So be on the lookout for my videos of my fragrances that I purchased in 2023 and that I hope to use in 2024 and so on. But I can smell it, y'all. And yes, if you do see me with this, yes, this is a Victoria's Secret um, scent card. I use a sampling card. I, I, pick up me some, and then I go around and smelling things. I do not put the cards back that I did not use because my hands have been on them. I just bring them home and I use them in my videos. So to smell my fragrances, I don't feel like it's right for me to put them back inside after I have touched them. So that is what I do, y'all. But I think it smells nice and yeah. So out of all of them, I will say it will probably be these. And let me see if I can get the vanilla. These three. I think that out of all of them that I had tried, I think these three are the better from the scents that I tried to blend. And this really popped real good with this uh, cherry, um, sweetheart cherry. So, and this made it sweeter. So I really like this. And it has that citrus burst in there as well. 
So, yes. What do y'all think? Do y'all think these are good combinations or no? That is all that I have to share with y'all. I hope that um, this video was informative with my sweetheart, Cherry. But I'm going to show y'all what I purchased when I went to the store, y'all. Because I did make a purchase. Yes. And it is. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it is. Woo! Yes, y'all. I got my gummies. <laughs> Yes, they are so cute. My pocket bag holders. Aren't they cute, y'all? This is how I look. And you just put the pocket back in here and you're able to squeeze it. There's no fur on them. They are cute. I got one for my husband and this one is mine. Y'all know my purple, my lavender in different shades. Yes, but I am so happy I was able to get them. This is what I wanted during the semi-annual sale and I was looking for them to be marked down. But when I went in the store, I did not see them. Wasn't looking online because I was sick. So, yes, I decided to go ahead and treat myself to them. They were $4.95. And they are too cute. And if this tag don't go to the back somewhere, yeah, say hey. Say hey, y'all. Yes, y'all. I am so so happy that I was able to get them. Yes. And I did show y'all what I have on for my scent of the day. Y'all bear with me. I am not ready to be putting on some powerful stuff, but I upgraded a little today. And I will start off with, of course, my lotion from Hello, um, Hello Hydration, Urban Hydration. And this is Vanilla Body Lotion. And it is an Omni Almond almondy vanilla fragrance it is not heavy and i'm trying to be done to add it to my use it up pile i mean to my um empties and i put on jolly gingerbread village the notes are golden gingerbread vanilla icicles yuletide timber and vanilla bean noel which is Fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, snow-kissed musk. So I put these two together and ended up with a nice gingerbread bakery item with some vanilla and that caramel. So, yeah, y'all, I blended up something. So, yes, but let me tell y'all. I'm getting off of here. Thank you so much for stopping by to see what Reba Renee has to talk about tonight. And I'll check y'all out on the next video. Bye. This is extra footage. Look, y'all, are you having issues with your bags not holding up? Say, for instance, you're in the mall or you're in a shopping center, outlet mall or whatever, in or outdoors. And Bath and Body Works is not the only store that you have a desire to go into and visit and make purchases. Are your bags holding up? Because I'm having an issue with that, y'all. Sometimes we may get items and they're a little on the heavy side. I don't know if they need to convert to plastic and paper. I don't know, but you see this? I didn't have that much in there. And the bag is just, I mean, these. And this. But, I mean, it just starts to ripping. And they are cute, gorgeous bags. Don't get me wrong, y'all. But I know there are times when I ask, if they can double my bag, they would say, oh, well, we put the cardboard on the inside. We put the cardboard on the inside. This one doesn't have it. But we put the cardboard on the inside and 
that is supposed to be enough to secure the bag. This is what they gave my husband. And this is going to be in another video. But look, Bustin' Loose. Y'all remember that video? That movie? Bustin' Loose. Look what that is in here. I mean, who are they saving the bag for? I mean, is it another bag here? This is the bag that was in, and they doubled it. But Bath and Body Works was not the only store that we visited. So even though they may double it still, I think they need, I don't know if they was running out of bags or what, but maybe they need to lighten the bags. And because I can't even say, I could tape it up, but I'm just going to throw them in the trash because I usually use them to recycle and use them for trash bags in my car. They are so cute in there like that, y'all. But um, no, I can't, I can't use this. So they're going in the trash before they even become a trash bag. 